Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 3 Deluxe Blind. In the last episode, we started exploring the Twilight River, discovering the Pink Winged Pikmin, and also getting a call from the King of Bugs, Captain Olimar himself. And in this episode, we're going to be heading back in to see if we can rescue him on top of a tree. Something is attacking him. I don't know what's going on. Let's save Olimar. <laughs> I like how hard they lean into this. Like, you don't know who this is. This could be Olimar. This could be anybody. That's so good. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and withdraw Pikmin. And let's try to be at least a little bit more... Ooh, even 25s all across the board. I guess that makes sense. Considering, you know, we have four types of Pikmin. 100. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it, but I wasn't. Okay. So, our only direction that we can go is on the lily pad up this way it would seem or also down this way um i don't really want to focus too hard on doing the uh, the main objective quite yet there's still so much for us to do in this area i need to see what's going on up over this way underneath the the whole ordeal healer so let's go ahead and see what lies beyond the river bend They're all doing, like, little actions on their own. That's so cute. I love them so much. They're so wonderful. Okay, what goes further beyond this way? Can we go this way, or do we automatically hop off at the end now that I'm looking at it? Okay, I gotcha. I see. I see what's going down. Okay, so then we really only, we really only have one option available to us, then. So we'll go ahead and head over this way, see if we can catch this lily pad. Come on, come on, you can make it! No, okay, that's fine. We'll wait for the next bus. Uh, there is stuff going on over there, though I don't... We probably could get that set of grapes, but eh, I'm not really too concerned about it right now. We'll get that a little bit later. And we've washed into a new area. And there's a big tree. Okay. Okay. So uh, we can go up this way, which seems to loop back over here to give us a little bit of a shortcut. We will absolutely do that. Uh, we have a pull out of the ground thing here. Uh, we have another one of these guys, which is really annoying. I'd really rather not have another one of these guys, but that's just the lay of the land, I guess. Okay, uh, oh my god, oh my god, no! No! I didn't hear them getting eaten by- that sucks. Why would you do that to me? Why would you take away the precious little pink friends? I should have paid attention, I just kind of left them on it. That's my own bad, I guess. Fuck me. Okay, well, accidents happen, I suppose. Nothing to be done about it. Uh, they don't. They don't deserve to become Pikmin. They just deserve to, to die, alone forever. Male shear grubs are rude. <laughs> they even get on the ground and push with their tiny little bodies. Pinks are pretty good. I don't know. They might be my favorite now. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we can loop back over here. Let's go ahead and fill our ranks back out. I guess with more pinks. Ah, oh, what a shame. Okay, and we have like a whole 18 more in storage. So, noted. Don't just assume everything is going to be fine. I guess now is when I was supposed to go grab that, but eh. Who needs to wait when you can sequence break slightly in a way that's super inconsequential to the, <laughs> the progression system of the game? Alright, you go ahead and pull that out of the ground. It probably actually would have been better for me to ride the lily pads at the end of yesterday. But actually, no, we didn't have time to do that, now that I think about it. So, I got that fruit slightly sooner than I could have. Yeah, go make some more pink friends, that's fine. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and charge, charge, charge. Look at them go. They're gaming, look at them. There is some sort of crazy looking dude up there. That's super cool. Okay, okay. We've got new stuff. 
I like how the rocks end up, like, bouncing over the top of things. That's a lot of character that they didn't need to do. Okay. Um, we have another freaking These damn guys. Desiccated skitter leaves. Uh, we have even more stuff to read. What do we got? We got even more pink Pikmin knowledge. Uh, winged Pikmin are somewhat lacking in attack strength. Okay, so that, that confirms my suspicions. And then Winged Pikmin are aces in aerial combat. I mean, that makes sense, obviously. In fact, we just saw a flying enemy around but a moment ago. So they must be somewhere. This one doesn't even seem to be changing colors. So the game clearly wants me to... Uh, to get more pink Pikmin here, but also, I want to take out this guy. I want to see what's going on with this fine gentleman. He is gone. He's not having it anymore. Okay, I didn't expect him to just vanish and drop all of his nectar and <laughs> disappear immediately. That's kind of funny. All right, so we'll do that. And ahead of time, since I know I'm going to make even more pinks, we will go ahead and send Charlie, we are so far away, all the way back to base. So Charlie can just kind of go do his own thing for the moment. Uh, we will make even more pinks real quick. Let's go ahead and do just that. Have them work on their own deal there. There's nothing going on here except for a bridge that we can start building apparently. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Um, this is a whole lot... Yeah, approaching that enemy, yeah, I mean, clearly. I was like, that's a recipe for disaster. We don't really want to do that at the moment. Um, so, where are these bridge pieces? Charlie's arrived at his destination, but we gotta wait a little bit longer. Um, oh, okay, we have, like, this bamboo gate. I'm guessing, yeah, the, the pink Pikmin can probably just, like, whoop, lift it up. Okay, uh, I guess while this is going on, we will go ahead and have our yellows work on that. These guys are almost back already because, oh, there's even more coming though. That's fine. Um, 15. I really don't want to just like sit here and do absolutely nothing, you know what I mean? Uh, there's got to be some other way for us to continue with speed at the moment. Um, those guys are working on that. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of at a spot where I can't really do a whole heck of a lot without passing further down the river, which is not something I want to do in leaving these yellows behind. Yeah, no, because then we gotta charge all these freaking dudes, or do we? I don't think we do. I think we can just probably. Hmm. Okay plan time. We will throw Brittany here and leave Brittany with... Oh, wait, never mind. We can start exploring over here now. I thought for too long. Damn it. Okay. I was just gonna pass back around the gate, but you know what? It all worked out fine. Uh, area hints. What do we got? Uh, great partner. It seems like two people working together could use this mushroom to reach the other side, but for some reason, Louie and I just can't get our acts together. I wish I had a more reliable partner. <sighs> I wonder how my wife is doing, but aw. Why are you thinking about your wife with Louie? I... <laughs> There's something weird going on there. Thinking about that a little bit. Um, I don't want to think too hard into that. We will go ahead and... Have Charlie meet back up with the rest of us here with all of the pinks. And there's got to be some dude in here. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Of course. Yes, please do that. Okay. Well, you are looking nice and feathery, my old friend. Um, Get stuck in the ground, please. Go, 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 go. Wow, that did nothing. The amount of people. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. The burrowing motherfucking Snagret. My worst foe. I hate these dudes. Oh, no. My rocks. 
God damn it. I swarmed him while he was coming out of the ground. The amount of people that have left comments telling me, you need to swarm them when they're coming out of the ground. Just be patient. I just did. Jack shit. It did not help. Ugh. God. These guys are my mortal foe. Burrowing Snagret. The Burrowing Snagret's head is at its weak, uh, its weak point. Wait for it to pop out and then start attacking. Well, great work. Sorry for the hold up. Okay, he's here. Um... Okay, well, and now we get eaten, because we were too close. Okay. Um... So now we go here and throw. It didn't... Uh, is it because I'm using rocks? Is that my big... My big downfall here? Alright, go back underneath. Charge up. And go, get him! Why am I throwing pinks at them? They're weak! Oh, why am I so close? Okay, well, that seems to be what we're supposed to do. Oh, he's like bald now. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Alright, uh... There we go. He's dead. I hate him. I am a Snavian-phobic individual. 100%. I hate them so much. These guys are literally the worst, and we can just drag his body back to base, yeah. I feel no remorse. Innocent creature or not, I, I don't care. Burrowing Snagrets are the worst. The entire Snavian subspecies of creature can eat it for all I care. Uh, we will go ahead and take this. I hope they don't wake up too fast. Please go quicker. Okay. I'm just not going to deal. I, I really don't see a whole lot of point in dealing with that nonsense at the moment. Um, we can lock on to up there for some reason. Uh, can we get a captain up there? Oh, that looks diggable. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm getting you. Uh, I've been informed by people telling me that rocks have even digging speed to yellows, but also they don't, I've heard. I've heard conflicting reports that that is a, a myth and that that is true. I don't know who to believe, but I'm going to operate under the assumption that it is true. I'm getting a lot of in conflicting information and comments and from friends sometimes. Uh, to future visitors. I consider myself to be a hardened veteran of planetary exploration now. With so many ba battles under my space belt, I no longer have need for this little item. I've since buried it nearby. Hopefully someone will be able to get use out of it. Okay. So whatever we're digging up here... It's the fireproof suit. So Olimar just became fire resistant on his own? Hey, what is this thing? It looks really familiar somehow. Whatever it is, let's get it back to the Drake to analyze it. Okay. I'm still mad about the Snagret, man. Why did I do that? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still tilted about the burrowing Snagret. Uh, I understand that charging and swarming are not the same thing, but man, I, <laughs> it should have just worked. If that was really like the end all be all single thing that I've been doing wrong with these enemies this whole time, then that should have just worked, but it didn't. Oh God. Okay, well, I'm just never going to be very good at the Snagrets, I guess. Alright, so we can head over this way and get yet another fruit, it seems. So we'll go ahead and work on this nonsense. Okay. So let's go ahead and get... Okay. Brittany and, and Charlie both, and we can throw as many Pikmin over to them as we can, and we will leave Alf to his own devices for the moment. Okay. So he's going to get off on his own there, and Alf can go back to... Oh, hold on. These guys are still lifting this gate. Okay. Um, so I don't have any... I, I have four rocks on me. This is going to take a little bit. Oh wait, they're just going and uh, doing that on their own, okay. Uh, so we have a Kiwi there, we will go ahead and whistle these guys off real quick. 
Analyzing. Okay, the upgrade is back. We're doing good. This is already much more productive of an episode than last. We're receiving a transmission from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. Okay. Scorch guard. Of course, of course. This undersuit adds flame resistance to your spaceware. I'm never really, I've never really been in danger of having a captain die, I don't think. They had these as optional extras in the spacesuit shop on Kopai. Oh, it's even got an instruction manual with it. I'll save it in the exploration notes. Okay. Protects you from fire. <laughs> Look at the... I really like that image of the red Pikmin. Okay. So let's go ahead and get back to base. This is great. Now I can touch stuff without getting burnt. Hell yeah, dude. You go, Alf. Go off, King. So let's go ahead and get back to base. I'm going to have to remember to bring bomb rocks here the next day. Uh, there is this nonsense going on here, and I see bridge parts. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, before any of that, I want to have these guys work on this. Okay. So, Pink Pikmin. Seven of you are going to have to take this out on your own. Alright, come back. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Well, we're losing more. Okay. Get him. Get him good. Come back. And we will go again. Oh, God. Okay. Rocks are getting stuck in the web. Come back. Come back. Come back. I'm trying very hard to whistle them out, but it's just not happening 100% of the time. It's just not that great. Okay. Has Alf made it back to base yet? I hope he has. Okay. Yes, he has. Great news. So now, we will go ahead and call back all the Pikmin. Uh, except I think that just made the other ones drop the Kiwis, didn't it? Shoot. That was not a great plan. Um, well, at the very least, we won't lose any Pikmin. Um, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want rocks to go. Oh, my God damn it. Oh, disaster. Well, I'm going to get away. This has been a bad day, man. And now I have a... <laughs> oh, God. Pikmin are in distress somewhere. I know. I know. I know. I know, Brittany. I know. Ah, oh, well... At the very least, there are none in danger now. Damn, dude. I, I really botched the end of this day, huh? <laughs> I can't believe that was only one day. That felt a lot longer than one day. I don't know. That day felt very long to me, just because of <laughs> it was kind of a disaster, but we made it out fine. Everything's okay. I'm not going to look at how many Pikmin I lost. We got two new fruits entirely. We have an apple and an orange. We have the insect condo, of course. That was the name it had in the first game. I don't remember what oranges were called. Portable sunset. I guess that's not... I know we got an orange in the first game, but I don't remember what it was called. Or in the second game, I mean. Okay. I wish you didn't have to share it with the others either. Okay. Yet another day under our belts. Doing just fine. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I did not lose 20 Pikmin. Don't look. <laughs> Brittany Log. After observing these winged Pikmin, my conclusion is that they are not very effective in combat. However, since they possess the ability to fly, they can be extremely useful for accomplishing certain tasks. I will keep an eye out for any opportunities to utilize their unique ability. Okay. You do just that. And y'all know the drill. We still got another day under our belts today. So let's go ahead and get to it after this very slow cutscene that we see every single time. I guess it's not that slow. It just it just feels slow to me. Especially when I have to restart to retake the intro because I don't like how it sounded. I never redo gameplay, though. Once I start getting into gameplay, that's that. No matter how scuffed the intro was, that's that. So, 
<laughs> you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm not faking blind to anything. I'm just, you know, sometimes I have to redo the intro because I'm like, eh, that sounded terrible, or I stuttered, but I had already pressed go, so I have to back out into the home menu and come back, and it's seeing that cutscene every time and having to re read all of my Piclopedia stuff that was new and now isn't to catch back up. It's a little bit of a pain, not going to lie, but it's all worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just start heading back, I guess. Um... First and foremost, to get back there, we need to go through this gate and head to the left. Um, and actually, we don't need to hop on the lily pads at all. That's right. We can just go this way here. I haven't even been considering looking for <laughs> a path to Louie. Sorry, Olimar. I've really just been thinking about getting this progress done. I completely... I'm, I'm not going to lie... Once the burrowing snagger showed up, I completely forgot about Louie. <laughs> I wasn't even on my mind at all. Okay. Reds, take this bad boy back. Couple of yellows, too. Very good. Uh, there is some sort of enemy on the water there. That dude was squirting water at us in the last area as well. I did not remember to bring bomb rocks, but... It's too late now. Um... I guess now let's start working our way on this bridge. That should probably be our next plan of attack here. Uh, so we will go ahead and start riding these bad boys down the river at the next location that we can. I will get ready to throw a captain and some pinks. What the heck did I just do? Oh my god. I couldn't even see what was going on. Okay. This red is on some sort of mission here. Okay. So, Captain and Pinks. Pinks, 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 Pinks. All of you go. So that the bridge is easy. I just see... I just noticed a, uh, a bloated toaster in the water. That's fantastic. He's there. He's wonderful. He's beautiful. So now, I don't really know what to do with this squad at the moment. But I will have Charlie with his pink friends come over here and work. Oh, come on. You better not. Uh, there is... Interesting. A data file there. How am I supposed to get that? Do I need to have a captain throw another captain onto there? Wow. Wow. They are already back with that fruit. It doesn't feel like they've been gone for that long, but I guess they have. So let's go ahead and have Brittany come up and over here. And we will try throwing Brittany out to yonder. Brittany, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I guess, I guess that kind of stuff happens, right? Not really a whole lot I could do about it, except not try doing that. Okay. Yikes. Oh, God. Brittany's in trouble. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's get you out of there. Let's not have you dealing with that anymore. I don't really know how to get that data file, but there's this data file instead, and there's a whole bunch of little bees over here. Interesting. Uh, indigenous life. We have... What are they called? Let's find out. Scornet. Oh, boy. Winged Pikmin are effective against Scornets. Okay. Great to know. Uh, well, if that is the case, then we need to get our other crew members over here ASAP. Because this is where all the rest of our Pikmin are. So we'll go ahead and start working on that. Brittany is over there. So we will go across the river and start working on that. I don't know if we're gonna <laughs> if we're gonna get Louie this episode. I'm too distracted by other things. Um just like Louie. Uh, sorry, ju just like Charlie, uh, Louis is not the most important thing on my mind right now. We need to get fruits and progress made. More gameplay than just boss time. It's the Winged Pikmin's turn to shine. Oh yeah, it is. You guys go. Look at them go. It's a war. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This is kind of cool. Uh, so we'll have the rest of our Pikmin working on this bad boy. I see a clipboard over there. I know exactly what to do with that. Um, 
Okay. So I don't really have to worry about anything going on with that. I, it's really just that simple. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, first and foremost, I see the bridge. So we will disband all of our Pikmin here. And we will bring these guys over and have them work on Bridgetown. And I will see what is over here with the other colors real quick. Could we use that board for something? Uh, of course we could, but also there doesn't seem to be a real distinct possibility of us doing anything without the pink Pikmin. I need more pinks. Um, I could fight this dude, but why? I don't really see a point in doing that. Uh, let's throw Brittany out here so that she can have an easier time whistling back the ones who are not busy. Uh, we will go ahead and pull whatever this is out of the ground and pay attention to it. Not just leave them be. I've learned my lesson. Uh, they won't help with extra numbers, it seems. Uh, anything dangerous? No, just more pinks? Okay. We will go ahead and take that back. That's fine with me. I'm cool with y'all working on that. You three, come back with me. And clipboard. Under this clipboard is... Oh, God. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Bit dangerous, but we're going for it, y'all. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, there's still some alive? Oh, I, I wish I could target them better. Okay. Okay, I thought they were all dead. Shit. Shit, 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 disaster. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that's done. Uh, we're, we're finished with that mess. Okay, there better just be, <laughs> there better just be bomb rocks under this or something. Okay, more bridge pieces, makes sense. I should have known there would be orange bulb orbs under there. Man, I should have known, but I was gonna open it either way. There was no shot I wouldn't. Um, we'll have Pinks continue working on this. And that's just that, I guess. There's not really a... Oh, fuck me. No. 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 Why? Why would you fly straight into that? Like, why... Why is this such a difficult obstacle for them? I don't really understand why they couldn't have just flown around it. That's really disappointing. But, eh. I should have known. I should have realized that was <laughs> what was going to happen here. That's the whole point of this dude, is that, specifically. Okay, get out of here. This enemy is horribly obnoxious. So we lost even more... Even more pinks. Man. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and have Charlie... Head back to base, regather our extra troops, and we can see what is on the other side of this bridge here momentarily. Um, I guess I'm gonna need somebody to uh, stick back over there once the pinks are done with their job over here. So we're splitting way back up once again. Uh, let's go ahead and have Alf be the man for the job in that scenario. And Brittany will get to shine and be the star of the show once again. Uh, so across over here, um, it seems like we can just walk off, but I guess we can't, unfortunately. Uh, Alf is already there. He's ready. He's not too concerned about a whole lot of anything else. Okay, we can, we can work on Charlie coming back now. And we have some rocks and... Some pinks in the ground, which is phenomenal news. All right, Charlie, you come back. Bring all the Pikmin back once again. So that Alf... Okay, Alf's group is almost done now. Um, this pair will be something that we tackle another day. Uh, actually, hold on. Actually. How... 
How close are bomb rocks? They're just right over there, across the way. Actually, we will have Charlie work on that, I do believe. Uh, let's go ahead and do just that. Okay, and Brittany will do something. I don't really know what to have her do right now. I could have her start potion farming. And actually, I can just catch these guys here. I didn't really need Alf to come over here at all. Uh, actually, I, I, I will need him here, now that I'm looking at it. I will need him here for bomb rocks. So, Brittany, you stick over here. Charlie should be where he's supposed to be now. Yes, he is. Perfect. We will have yellows. Take the bombs. As is their tradition, you know. Because for some reason in the first game, they could only, they were the only ones who could carry them. I know that it was for them to be useful in their own special way, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense since all of the Pikmin have hands, yada yada. Uh, let's go ahead and have Charlie meet over here. Brittany can start exploring on her own. Coming over yonder. I'm going to have to throw off another captain to, ga to grab that. There is another path over here that does not seem to lead to the tree, now that I'm looking at it even more. So actually, Brittany's separation here was a bit pointless. I think we are going to have to wait for uh, Charlie to finish up his whole shebang here. We'll get that pair back to base, and then we will all head over here together. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'm a little disappointed by how many Pikmin I've lost in this area, but we are getting into like the late game now, so it stands to be expected that I'm going to lose Pikmin on my first playthrough, of course. So, okay, Charlie is here. Charlie is ready to go. So we'll go ahead and throw our bomb rock Pikmin up here. Alf did not need to separate. But I still have him there as an aside. Just in case. Not what I wanted. Why did it drop? Okay. Well, that's fine. We still have two more. We just gotta play it right. Please, please target it. And stay down here. Okay, fine, whatever. Shoot! Why would you drop it? <sighs> okay. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm a little bit frustrated. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Idea. A bit of an idea. Alf, you can get up there. Alf! Please! No, dude. Come on. Okay. Whatever. Uh... That's so disappointing. Alf. I had it, too. I knew exactly what I needed to do. You guys stop. I did not want to whistle my whole thing back. Fuck it. We'll all just go around for my plan here. That's fine. Except... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my plan fell apart entirely. I'm so disappointed. Okay. Um, I sound angrier than I am. <laughs> I swear I'm not that mad. I'm just very... Uh, disappointed by how this turned out because I thought I had a good plan going on, but it just it fell apart entirely It's a bit disappointing when that happens, you know I'm not doing too hot at multitasking here. It would seem uh, So I'm guessing that we can have pinks lift that over the top of that gate If not, I'm gonna be extra sad about my miss throw. I wish that they didn't automatically drop I wish that Bomb rocks didn't have different properties in like every version <laughs> of Pikmin. To be quite honest, uh, I wish that I could they could be a bit more consistent about that instead of changing that over and over. But eh. from my daughter, Papa, you're never home anymore. Do you still live here? Please bring flowers and cake for Mama if you come home. My daughter is growing up so fast. Where did she get the idea that I don't live with them anymore? <laughs> then again, I worry that I'm starting to forget my street address. Olimar, go home. Please. I'm hearing something moving around. Oh, it's him. Okay. So, let's go ahead and swap over to Brittany. Brittany, you meet up with Charlie so that he doesn't get left behind, even though I know captains can't be left behind, but it's fine. Uh, Alf, please work. Please? That's wonderful news. Except it's not. What do you mean? Fly a little higher, bro. Come on. Ugh. 
Really? Really? That sucks. <laughs> that is so incredibly heartbreakingly disappointing. What an episode, man. <laughs> all of my all of my good stuff that I've done thus far shattered. It all fell apart. Today, before your very eyes, in this very episode, all of the good stuff I did in Pikmin 2 ruined. Because I lost Pikmin to the burrowing Snaggeret. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously playing it up. We did fine. I'm just disappointed that I couldn't get that pair today. I wouldn't have even had that much time. So, it's all good. The day's over. Could have been a lot better, but... Them's the breaks. If this were not a blind playthrough, I would have re-recorded that. But, turns out, you live with what you get. We roll. The Twilight River is proving to be a force of nature indeed. We got two disguised delicacies. Blonde imposter, what? What is the difference? I don't know fruits very well, I'm realizing. I thought I knew fruits decently well, but I suppose not. Okay. We we got almost ten more juice bottles. I can't say we did bad. I say as I lost fucking eighteen more Pikmin. <laughs> okay. Okay, Pikmin 3, claim your trophies. Do it. After observing the red Pikmin, I've come to the conclusion that they are actually fully resistant to fire. They also appear to be extremely ferocious fighters, despite their appearance. They remind me of the captain in that way. Is the captain also resistant to fire on his own? I'm going to doubt it, considering we got a fire suit. But he said in that way specifically, I guess. Okay, day 21. Let's see our uh, our copad entries here. We got 40 out of 66. We only have 26 fruits left. That's phenomenal. Uh, we got the insect condo. That smell. I can't turn my nose away from that smell. I dive right in and start eating, but something about this name the computer supplied <laughs> makes me just a touch suspicious about what's going on inside this thing. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So I'm going to guess that after Pikmin 2... Since the Hockitations have been selling the fruits that they got, some of the names came from, like, the ship naming, specifically. It's not just a coincidence, just like the galaxy has adopted these names after Pikmin 2. That's a cool, a cool way to look at that. Portable Sunset. Look at the colors! It reminds me of the time I melted all my crayons and tried to combine them together into a super crayon. I really thought that would work. Anyway, Alf doesn't like the smell of this fruit, but he doesn't have to. But, but he doesn't have a sophisticated nose palette like I do. You, your, no your nose, your nose is pointy, so I'm sure it works better than his. Blonde imposter. Aha! This furry little fruit tried to hide itself under a veil of camouflage and fuzz. But I won't be fooled. Tell me, Miss Fauna, if you are indeed animal and not vegetable, where are your legs? Checkmate fruit. <laughs> That's my favorite one so far. That's a good one. Okay. Let's read our entries. Uh, we have the Nectarous Dandelfly. Uh, there's no need to attack these gentle flying creatures, but the nectar they drop makes it tempting to do it anyway. Wait until the right moment in its circular flight pattern, then toss a Pikmin at it. If you hit one of the nectar nodules, it'll drop a little bit, but hitting the head will make, the, make it drop them all. I feel bad about stealing the nectar it stores up, but we need to survive too. True, true. I'm positive that if we follow it long enough, it'll lead us to the source of all that nectar hanging off its belly. Big fruits, here we come. Hang on, didn't we just walk through here? Does this thing fly only fly in circles? Look at him, flying around like he owns the sky. All that nectar hanging just out of reach. Well, I'll get the last laugh. It may be out of range of my steely fists, but I've got some winged pigment who'd like a crack at it. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Alright, burrowing snaggeret. Yippee, I swear to god, if the Pileated Snaggers in this game, I'm gonna freak. Uh, its bulk and speed make it a very fearsome model. It's very difficult to retrieve a Pikmin once it's snapped up one in its beak. However, if you can dodge its beak as it comes down... I forgot about the dodge button, man! Ah! 
As it comes down, the beak's sharpness works against it as it gets stuck in the soil. That leaves it the head wide open to be pelted with Pikmin as fast as you can. Yes, yes. Burrowing Snagrip. Brittany's turn. I've never seen the bottom half of one of these. Uh, I'll have I have all sorts of ideas about what might, what might be under there. We saw them carry it back, though. It could be a long snake tail or a big plump body stuck on the ground. Or maybe below the neck. It looks just like us. No. Now, I get that it's big and that big things are scary, but that twisty neck can't twist all the way around, so all you have to do is get behind it. Once you're there, pour on the winged Pikmin and you're golden. That's a fair point, Charlie. I could have done that. And we have the Scornet. These buzzing swarms are rare but dangerous. Normal Pikmin aren't built to handle these insects. They'll just get carried off. Use wing Pikmin instead. If only I could just if only I could whistle just the right tune or pitch, I bet I could get them to carry me around this planet. I'd only need one, but I'm sure it would take a lot more to get Al for the captain airborne. <laughs> These swarms of tiny terrors are all well organized. Then again, so are we. I'll put my leadership to the skills of a test against their numbers any day. Pikmin fall out. Okay. Well, I suppose that will be everything for today's episode of Let's Play Pikmin 3 Deluxe Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my socials or join my Discord, they're in the description. And I hope to see you all in the next one, where hopefully we perform a little better than that. <laughs>